Hello and welcome friends to 5 Minutes Engineering. Today we are going to start with machine learning this course. So basically, this is an introduction video. I am going to try to put some basic idea of about what is machine learning into your mind. So let's start with a definition. What is basically a uh, machine learning? So it's a field of study which is trying to give the computer the capability to learn without getting explicitly programmed. So machine learning is trying to provide the computers, the machine with the capability to learn without getting explicitly programmed. Now, what does this mean without getting explicitly programmed? That means minimum or no human assistance to the computers for learning. That's what I am trying to say. Let's consider I am putting a situation in front of you and I want to know what is going to be your response. Okay. So the situation is like that you are a CEO of a company and you are trying to hire some people for a particular position and there are only two candidates, two persons standing in front of you and I am now going to tell you the behavior, the nature of those two persons and now the decision is yours to whom to employ. Okay. Now the first person, the nature of the behavior is he or she, that person is not able to learn. He is not able to learn. What I, what, what I mean by saying this is that he or she, that person requires a continuous human assistance. Continuous human assistance is required. Okay. You know, every time that person is to be told what is to be done, how it is to be done like that. And the second person, the second candidate for that particular position in your company, that person is opposite of the first one because that person is able to learn. Initially, some training is required and then no human assistance is required by that person. He can perform, he can learn by itself. Okay. Now the choice is pretty clear in front of you. And obviously the choice is going to be the person number two. You are going to employ for that particular position in your company. Why? Because there is a basic difference. There is a basic difference of learning and that makes the second person intelligent and the first person not intelligent. Simple simple funda okay the first person the first person okay he was standing here the first person is not intelligent because every time he has to be told he or she has to be told he's not learning but the second person is capable of learning he is having a capability of learning by itself initial some training is required but then afterwards no human assistance is required for that particular person so you will hire that person because that person is intelligent that person is intelligent and that's why machine learning is getting so trending nowadays because machine learning is trying to make the machines learn the algorithms of machine learning are making the machines the computers intelligent very important element of machine learning is data or i should say a perfect data what do you mean by a perfect data a good data excellent data I am trying to say that a data should be free of missing values. It should not consist of any ambiguity. It should be free from errors. Okay. A data should be consistent. It should be accurate. It should be precise. All those things together makes the data perfect, makes the data good. And if it exists, if it is perfect, then you can get all those benefits of machine learning. Okay. But if the data is not good, is not perfect, consists of ambiguity, it is inconsistent, it consists of errors, it is having missing values. These are all the things, if these all the problems exist in your data, then machine learning is not going to help you. To understand machine learning better, let's compare it with traditional programming. Let's compare it with the traditional programming. And here is our machine learning, correct? Now, what's the nature? The nature of traditional programming is obviously it will also require data. It is going to require data and plus program. Program is given as an input. So what we are giving a program and some data, a user data we are giving to the traditional programming. And finally, what we are going to get is output. This is the basic simple nature of programming. We have been known when we are studying in our engineering college student life. Okay. Now to give an example of this scenario, we all have performed this calculator program, calculator program, plus, minus, multiplication, division, all that things together in one program, making a calculator program we have made in our engineering labs. Okay. We have built this program. There what we did, we gave a program to the machine, calculator program that we have built. We gave some user inputs, the variable values that we have given. So this data and program we have given. Okay. Now what happened? that this respective data user data is going to get manipulated as per the logic as per the logic in that program that we have built and finally we will get a output like if we are trying to add two variables in the program 
addition logic will be there and output you will get the add addition of those two variables so this way the traditional programming is working because we have to feed it with program we have to feed it feed it with logic okay so here we need to explicitly program in the traditional programming but here the case is very different in machine learning what we require the very important element very important element that is data as an input we have to give data as an input hmm? and the second thing is very very important as well output yes output and finally as a output you are going to get as a result you are going to get a program or you can say it as a simple logic or a model you can say okay so what actually is happening here that i would like to explain you let's consider a scenario when we are giving our board exams like 10th and 12th what we are doing what we are doing we are preparing for the boards what does that mean we are preparing for the test okay we are preparing for the test how we are prepare how how basically we are preparing so here what we do in our notes in our notebooks whatever the source of information we have what our tendency to train ourselves our brain is for that board exam is that we are going to have a question and for that we are going to have an answer okay so we are training our mind that what question will be there in the paper so accordingly we have to write that particular answer so we'll get that marks and we'll pass the boards and test i hope so the same thing we are training here the machine the computer we are similarly training here that is we are providing with the knowledge the data and the output so question answer question answer output is also provided during the training so this is all the training that is going to happen before the boards are arri arriving before the test is arriving okay so that's how you train continuously the question what should be the answer this question what should be the answer how we have to attempt that question which way we have to write the answer all that thing we are going to train after the training is conducted a program a logic in the mind is getting formed a model is formed that is before approaching to the test before approaching to the respectively board exam center your brain is nothing but a program your brain is nothing but a logic now with the help of this model logic program you are going to attempt the test that means now you are going to face the testing phase that is a testing phase so here we did with the training phase we trained the model okay we trained the model and now with that respective logic we are going to test it now here a key point to note is that if the data that you have provided during the training if it is a perfect data if it is a good data i mean to say that there are very 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 less negligible errors than no missing values and everything is perfect in that data it suits your purpose then the model the logic the program that is generated as a result is going to be carrying a very high accuracy high confidence high score and low error margin and that's what the aim of machine learning is that you should have a lower error margin as possible as low it should be so friends if you found this video good do like and share it with your friends and thanks a lot friends for watching this video